Just before a home series against the St. Louis Cardinals, the Chicago Cubs decided to call up their best outfielder and infielder from last season. This 23-year-old had already put up big numbers this season for AAA Iowa before being called to the Cubs. In his first 29 games, he had an impressive slash line of 3-3-0, 4-2-5, and 7-3-0. And if that wasn't enough, that he also has 11 home runs and 9 doubles. Despite his very respectable debut season last year, we still saw Morrell starting 2023 in the minors. Now he's finally back on the north side, and he's got some big tricks up his sleeve. Let's see what he's been up to. First up, we can't get over his five consecutive home runs. There's no denying that the Cubs have found themselves a breakout sensation. Morrell's hot start isn't coming to an end as he's already hit a home run in five consecutive games. In fact, he's doing what Sammy Sosa did in the Cubs uniform back in the 98 season. Even though the management didn't initially think that this rookie was cut out for the big leagues, he's been proving them wrong ever since. Looks like Morrell is here to make history for the Cubs. So is Morrell about to set some big records? Well, he already is. It's not every day that we see an MLB player hit a home run in 9 of their first 12 games in a season, and you know what that means, Morrell is already a record setter. And if we take you guys on a quick trip down memory lane, then you should know that Mike Schmidt was the one who hit 11 home runs in his first 12 games of the 1976 season. That was the most consecutive homers ever scored. Right now, Morrell is tied with two other players for the second most homers. And on a side note, this isn't the only record that Morrell is setting for the Cubs. He's also done something that nobody in MLB history ever did, and that was hitting a home run from five different spots in the lineup. And if that wasn't enough, then he's even hit home runs from the leadoff spot and the last spot in the batting order. Is there anything this man can't do? And get this, his stats are looking pretty good too. We've already told you about how in just 12 games, Morrell has been an absolute star. But do you know just how much of a star? Well, when he got called up, he started tearing it up at the plate with a jaw-dropping 3.67 batting average, not to mention a whopping 9 home runs and 15 RBIs. Talk about an explosive start. To put things into perspective, let's take a look at his performance during the 2022 season. Back then, Morrell had a solid but not quite as impressive 2.35 batting average with 16 homers and 47 RBIs in 113 games. But guess what? This season, he's on track to surpass all those numbers. He's showing tremendous growth and improvement. One thing that's worth noting is that Morrell has been a hit machine, and he managed a 22-game on-base streak to begin his MLB career. That's some consistency right there. And now let's fill you in on some defensive excellence. In the games that Morrell has played in the field this season, he has been flawless. Not a single error on his record. Now, let's compare that to last season when he had a total of 10 errors. That's what we call major improvement in the field. But here's the exciting part. Morrell has been showcasing his versatility. He's been a defensive chameleon, playing not one, not two, but four different positions this season. He's been all over the field. Morrell has shown his skills in all three outfield spots, making him a valuable asset for the team. And as if that wasn't enough, he has also stepped up to the challenge and played second base. This guy can do it all. Now here's another interesting twist. Merle has been given the role of designated hitter on multiple occasions this season. This shows the trust and confidence the team has in his abilities both at the plate and in the field. Now, is Merle exactly what the Cubs needed to make a comeback? There's no denying that Morrell is making a huge impact for the Cubs, both with his awesome skills at the plate and his stellar glove work. At this point, we're even questioning why he started the season in Iowa. But team president Jed Hoyer says he isn't regretting the decision because he believes the process was sound. In fact, he even backed up his choice by pointing out Morrell's underwhelming second half stats from last year and said they believed they needed to be a little more patient with him. But ever since he was recalled to the Cubs, Morrell has clearly been on fire. Still, despite his impressive performances, the team has struggled to turn his success into victories. The Cubs currently hold a 4-8 record with Morrell in the lineup. Now here's an interesting tidbit. During his home run streak, the Cubs managed to secure two wins out of five games played, so there's definitely a correlation between Morrell's power at the plate and the team's success. It's also pretty clear that the Cubs have a special player in Morrell, someone who is emerging as a superstar with a bright future ahead of him. While the team might not be achieving the most impressive results yet, they can still find comfort in the fact that they finally have a rising talent who's here to make a significant impact. With Morrell in the lineup, the Cubs have a player who can turn the tide and lead them to future success. What do you guys think about Morrell's smoking hot performance? Is he about to be the next big star of the MLB? Let me know in the comments below. There's no denying that if Morrell can keep being consistent on offense, he'd easily be among the best sluggers in the game over a full season. Although the second half of his debut hasn't been as good, he still hit a homer recently, and he's been an efficient player in a bad Cubs lineup as of recent. 
He's a player who comes with a passion and loves to go out there and play, no matter where he is on the lineup and no matter where they put him on the field. If you ask us, then that shows some real athleticism in the field. However, the reality is that the star player still has a long way to go. In fact, there are some areas in his game that need improvement. Hitting coach Dustin Kelly pointed out that Morrell needs to refine his plate discipline and overall understanding of his capabilities. Even though he might always have some swing and misses, he'll mature and become more confident over time. Whether he keeps up this remarkable pace or not, he's still an asset to the Cubs. And speaking of big stars, we can't help but talk about the number of rookies who are absolutely killing it right now. Who are the biggest surprises so far in this MLB season? Click now to watch.